Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn interfaces in C Sharp. There are two primary ways to achieve abstraction. One is by using abstract classes and other option is using interfaces. We have discussed abstract classes in our previous video. If you are interested, do check the description. Abstraction is the process of exposing only the essential features of an object while hiding the implementation details. Look at this simple example of interface. Here you can see that we have defined few properties and this interface iCustomer has three methods. If you notice, we have not provided any implementation details for this update contact info, get full name or get niche. This is just describing what iCustomer will have and what all the methods it will have. But how, what are the implementation details and what functionality this update contact info is going to do? Those details are not provided. So you can see that this is a way of achieving abstraction. Let's start with the definition of interface in object-oriented programming. Interface is just a contract or you can see a blueprint because this just defines a set of method signatures without providing the implementation details. See here itself we can see this iCustomer is just a contract or blueprint. This just says these are the properties I have and uh, iCustomer. I have three methods update contact info, get full name and get each. Whichever the class wants to implement this interface, just provide the implementation for them. And this is a contract and you need to provide implementation for these methods. So, this you can see this, this serves as a contract or a blueprint for the class that implements this interface. See this example, then we can discuss more about how to create interface or how to implement interface. Let's start with understanding how to create interface in Cisha. Let's understand this concept by creating our own interface. What we are using is a console application. I will add interface to this project. Right click, click on add, new item. Choose interface. I will name it as iCustomer. Click on add. This will add new customer to this project. Here internal is a default access modifier. Instead of internal, I would like to use public. We can declare an interface using the interface keyword. Look at this interface signature. First, we are using this access modifier. Next, we are using interface keyword. This keyword tells the framework that your iCustomer is an interface. Then name of the interface. An interface can declare a set of methods, properties, events, or indexers. I'm going to add few properties to this interface. So this will be ID. And I will add one more property. This is going to be first name. Let's change the data type to string. Let's copy this and add one more property by last name these are the properties of this interface now we are going to declare method signatures these are the three methods of this interface one is update contact info this will take string email and phone number and this will get the full name as it is an interface we are not going to write implementation launch we are not going to write implementation logic. A class that implements this interface is going to provide the implementation logic for these methods. We have just created an interface. If you want to use this interface, some class has to implement this interface and provide the necessary implementation for these methods, then you can use the functionality of this interface. Let's understand how to implement an interface. See, this is our interface and these are the method signatures. If we want to implement this interface, then we have to create one more concrete class. Like now we are going to add one more class. I will name it as customer. 
we are going to add this class. This is our customer class and this class is going to implement this iCustomer interface. If you want to implement any interface, then after this class name, write colon, then write the name of the interface that you want to implement. Shortcut to implement any interface is if you press if you press control dot, then you will get an option implement interface. Now we can see. Now we can write the actual logic that we want. These are the properties of the interface. I don't want to write any additional logic for get and set. So simply I will copy these properties. Okay. See, this is our method get age. Now we are going to write actual implementation logic for this get age method. Let's quickly add the constructor to this class. Shortcut is you can type CTOR, then press tab twice. This constructor will take all the parameters and it will do the map. We have added this parameterized constructor as part of interface implementation. We have to write necessary logic to these methods. I have added the logic to these methods. This get age method is going to get return age of a person and return type is going to be integer. This will calculate age based on year and based on current year and date of birth. As will calculate age of a person and it will return. Next, this get full name method is going to take first name and last name and it will return full name of a customer. Next, update contact info. This method takes email and phone number as parameters and it will update. So these are the three methods that we have implemented. We have created this interface and here by creating this customer class, we have implemented this interface. Now what next? Now we need to understand how to use interface and or you can say how to call interface in our code. Next question is how to use an interface. To use an interface, create a class that implements the interface, then interact with instances of that class. We have already created a class that implements this interface. Now what we are going to do? Now we are going to create instance of iCustomer. I will declare iCustomer. This is our interface. And we are going to create instance of customer class as this customer class implements this iCustomer interface. Customer, as we have parameterized constructor in customer class, we are going to call that constructor by directly passing values here. This is just for demonstration. Using parameterized constructor, I have passed these values to this instance. And now we can interact as we have already created the instance, we can interact with this instance. We have created this instance using type as iCustomer. That means we can access only the properties and methods that, that are defined in this iCustomer interface. This may lead to a question that can the customer class have a method that is not defined in the iCustomer interface? Then yes, it is possible. We are going to verify that. It's called some method that is defined in this iCustomer interface. As this is console application, let's print it on a console window. We are going to use this console.writeLine method. I will say customer full name. Let's do one thing. Let's use interpolation. This one, now, if you want to print customer full name, we are going to call this get full name method. This will print customer full name. Let's run this now. By calling get full name method, we are able to print full name. Now we are going to verify, is it possible to have a method that is not defined in this iCustomer interface? This iCustomer interface has three methods, update contact info, get full name and get age. Now I'm going to add one more method to this customer class. I'm going to add a method. This is going to be a method which is not defined in iCustomer interface.
this method prints customer details. If we come back to this program.cs file, I will try to access this method using this uh, using this instance customer which is of type iCustomer. I will say customer dot say this is a method print customer details. If I try to access this print customer details, we are not able to access this method. This says iCustomer does not contain a definition for print customer details. Now what we are going to do, I'll come at this line. See, like this we have created this customer iCustomer instance. Now instead of that I'll say customer Again, I'm using this parameterized constructor to pass the values. I named it as customer2, which is of type customer class, and I renamed this to customer1, which is of type iCustomer interface. Now we are going to uh, now we are going to access this print customer details. Customer2 dot print customer details. Now we are able to call this method. I'll run it again. Look at the output. This, these details are from print customer details. Don't consider this as a best practice. This is just for understanding the fact that this, this is possible for a class to have its own method. Till now we have discussed what is an interface, how to create an interface, then how to implement that interface and how to call our, uh, then how to use that interface in our application. Now let's discuss few of the advantages of interface. With interfaces, we can achieve loose coupling. When we create interface, we keep interface definition and implementation separate. Tomorrow, if you want to change something, you can do it without affecting existing code. Next advantage is polymorphism. With interfaces, we can achieve polymorphism. Suppose we have two different classes that implement iCustomer interface and if they provide different implementation for these methods, we can achieve polymorphism. And next advantage is it improves testability. By using interface, we can easily create mock objects and thus we can easily implement unit testing. Next biggest advantage is this supports multiple inheritance. C-Sharp does not support multiple inheritance for classes. Using interfaces, we can achieve that. One more advantage is code reusability. We can easily change a class that implements an interface. Thus, we can achieve code reusability. In real-time applications, interfaces are used extensively. As we keep building different types of applications and learn more advanced concepts, we we can see different use cases for interface. What we have seen today is just a basic understanding of interfaces. In upcoming sessions, I'll show you I'll I'll show you how to implement polymorphism and multiple inheritance using interfaces. Session is all about understanding what is an interface, how to create interface, how to implement it, and how to use it in our application. That's all for today's session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.